Hi, this is Bryce with Phytech Fuel Injection, and this week on Tech Tuesday, we're going to show you how to install a Go Fuel in tank fuel pump module. We have a brand new tank here for a C10 and we're going to start by locating the location that we're going to install our tank module. Start by drilling a pilot hole in your measured location somewhere near the center of the tank and then drill out with a 2 and an eighth inch hole saw. Once we got a hole in the tank, grab the C ring and use it as a template to mark your holes for your Voltine hardware. Once you got your holes located, drill out those holes with a 5 16 drill bit and then clean up all of your sharp edges with a burr so you can have a cleaner installation without risk of cutting any material when you're slipping the module in. Now we'll take the C-ring and install the hardware. Run the one and a half inch machine screws into the C-ring and then decide if you're going to need the thick or thin seal just prior to installing the C-ring. If you're using the module on a corrugated tank, use the thick ring. If you're using it on a flat surface like ours, use the thin ring. Now that you have the C-ring slipped into the tank, use the seal to hold the C-ring into place and the hardware up. Now we're going to measure the depth of the tank so we know how deep to make the module itself. We want the fuel pump to be 3 8 to a quarter inch off the bottom of the gas tank. So we're going to measure the pump so we are that distance. Here we're laying out the measurements so we can cut our hose. The hose that is white that goes to the red port is our pressure location to hook the pump up to. Now that we have it measured, we're going to double check before we go to cut it. Now that we have our fuel pump cut to length, we're going to cut the bracket itself. We're going to leave the black hose as long as possible. That is our return. We want it to return to the bottom of the tank. Now that we have the pump located, we're going to measure the bracket to where it travels almost to the bottom of the pump itself. We'll take the bracket, put in a vise, and cut it with a hacksaw. Then clean up the rough edges with a sander. Now that we have our module cut to length, we're going to slip on our hose clamps and use a little WD-40 as lubricant to slip on the pump. Be sure to slip on the pump perfectly straight. Failure to do so can lead to cracking of the nipple on the pump. Use gentle forward force when slipping the pump on and then once we have it on, we can tighten down our hose clamps so we can secure the pump into place. Once the pump's clamps are tightened, we can now secure the pump to the bracket with the supplied zip ties. Be sure to locate one zip tie at the top of the pump and the other one near the bottom of it. Once we have the pump installed, we're ready to plug in the wiring leads. The wiring leads are fairly long for adjustment to different length tanks, so if you have excess, be sure to bundle them up. We like to run them around the feed and return hose as a type of cable management to prevent it from rubbing on the edge of the tank when we install the module. Now is a great time to add a vent hose onto the module if you're going to be using a vent. We're using quarter inch fuel injection hose for this purpose. Now that we're ready to install the pump module, we're going to slip it down into the tank as a fitment check. Be sure to hold the C-ring up into place, otherwise it can push down into the tank and you'll have to retrieve it. A tip to get the module keyed into the hardware locations is to use a needle nose plier to hold one of the screws up into place to slip the module down on top of the tank. Now that the module is installed, we're going to install the hardware. Start by putting the O-rings into place and then tighten down the bolts in a crisscross configuration. Thank you for tuning in to this week's Tech Tuesday. I hope this helped you with installing the fuel tank module. And always remember, tune in to Mike's Tech Tips because measure twice, cut once, never does you wrong. If you have any other questions on this installation, please comment them down below and also recommend future videos for us.